Hey everybody, it's Dietrich Williams, real estate extraordinaire with Pacific Union International, and welcome to this edition of Info on the Go. You know, I get a lot of emails and phone calls from people wondering how they can compete with all cash offers in this crazy competitive market that we're in right now. So I'm gonna give you five strategies that you can use to beat an all cash buyer. So let's get right to it. Number one is you wanna structure your deal so that the offer looks just like a shoe in It's a lock. So your lender is going to give you a pre-approval letter already you already have that but what can go a step further is if you have your lender contact the listing agent to speak to how well of a qualified buyer that you are that can go a long way in addition you want to request your lender to do a DU approval now I won't go into what the ins and outs of that is but what it really is is a complete financial picture of who you are as a buyer so number two is we want to shorten our loan and appraisal contingency times. Now you want to speak to your lender before you just happen to write this into the offer because you don't want to make promises that you can't keep. But some lenders are able to do the loan approval process in as, as short as two weeks. The standard in the contract for the RPA is 21 days. So if you can shorten that by another seven days, that can carry a long way when you're competing with these all cash offers. Number three, you want to schedule your home inspection right away. So not only do you want a shorter contingency time for your loan and your appraisal, but scheduling that home inspection right away shows the seller how motivated and serious and ready to go you are as a buyer. So here's what I'll do for my clients. I will find out from the listing agent when their client is looking to make their decision. I'll tell my client to call the home inspection company and schedule the inspection two days after that date that the seller is going to decide. Why do I do this? Because I know that home inspectors are busy. So if we wait until the offer is accepted, they may have scheduled out 10, 20 different home inspections and we may have to wait three, five, seven days, two weeks in order for them to get in. That really kind of can kill the deal because now it lengthens out that amount of time that we have to get all of our inspections done. But if we schedule it two days after we think they're gonna make their decision, we've already got it penciled in. So if we need to reschedule or cancel, no harm, no foul. You've already got it in the books. Number four, think about paying a little bit extra. So obviously you know what you can afford and you know what you've been pre-approved for. So let's just use an example. So let's say you've been pre-approved for 500,000 and we know that an all cash offer is at the highest and is in at 450. Maybe you wanna come in at 455 because it can mean the difference between you getting the home and you not getting the home. And that $5,000 tacked on is not gonna make a ton of difference in your monthly mortgage payment. So if you're planning on being there for a while and this is the home of your dreams, that $5,000 may be worth it in the end. Number five, make it personal. So you want to create some type of connection between you and the seller. So I will, for my clients, write a cover letter or a letter, a personal letter to the seller to kind of tug on their heartstrings. We'll talk about why we love their home so much, what we plan on doing in their home, not to their home, but in their home. So if we plan on utilizing the pool or the backyard space for family barbecues or the extra bedroom to bring in our in-laws or our parents for visits for the weekend or for the holidays, you want to make it as personal as possible. Now, again, we don't want to talk about the things that we're going to do to the home to fix it up because that can be a deterrent and be a turnoff to a seller. But if you talk on the heartstrings and, and, and it's somebody that's been in that home for quite some time, and these are the same type of memories that they've established, now you create that connection. It can mean the difference between your offer getting accepted and your offer falling into the stack of papers where it's not accepted. Okay, so if you have any questions, make sure you give me a call or email me. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Make sure you align yourself with a great real estate agent such as myself and a good lender who can navigate you through this entire process. Once again, it's Dietrich Williams. This is this edition of Info on the Go. We'll see you next time real soon. Take care.